to um, create, which has been one of our problems, actually to create that many chances in the first half as we did, but um, and not to capitalise on those moors as had a, a massive impact on the result today. So um, we're left extremely disappointed um, by the fact that we've ended up losing the game when we've put ourselves in a position to win it. Not only by scoring the first goal, but also the amount of chances we created in the first half after that. I think the second half was about um, Burnley playing forward with Woodsy up front with Barnes and, uh, and us not coping with the more direct style of play they chose to use and get the ball forward. So that gave them the first goal, put more pressure on us. I think we overrode that pressure to a to a certain degree and started to find our way back in the game but didn't produce anything like the quality we did in the first half apart from Gilfie's manufacturing an opportunity and opening for himself that he would have normally scored didn't and then what do we do we decide not to deal with the corner correctly and um, allow a free header for Woodsy to pop it in for a, a very disappointing defeat and and then to crown it all off, I mean, now captain's got himself sent off, which unfortunately I can't defend. So what started to be looking like quite a bright afternoon ended up very disappointing indeed. And one where we have to say to ourselves, why did, why did we lose that? So that, that it was us. That's why we lost it. We've only got ourselves to blame. Um, and again, it's another away defeat we could certainly today could have avoided. And had we done better in the first half in front of goal, would have won it. I believe. The fans were fairly vocal when you replaced Chelsea. Uh, uh, what was your view of that, the fans turning like that? Because, you know, given where the club is now from where you... They were it it, it happens, doesn't it, like you mean? So, you know, I think that, uh, you know, fans have what you consider a new guy coming on and my job is not is not... Is, is 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 not what the fans are saying or not saying. What we want is the fans cheering us, not not booing you, of course. But I have to look at the situation and say this is only his second start since he's arrived. He's worked extremely hard on his game. I think everybody's seen that he's got better and looking more accomplished. He scored his goal. Um, but obviously our monitoring and the way the system is, is he's running out of legs. He's feeling the pace of the game, which happens when you first come here. And um, we replace him with fresh legs, which is Omar, who has scored more goals recently than anybody else. I mean, there's only Wayne Rooney scored more than him. So Omar comes on, fresh, ready to go. And that, that, those are the decisions that they make. And in the end, um, it hasn't worked by the fact that we haven't really played well enough in the second half to create any more chances than we or it's certainly as good a chance as we did in the first. But that's life. That's what you deal with as a manager. Uh, everybody has an opinion on the game of football. And I have to make the decisions. And you make them. And, and you, um, certainly from a substitute point of view, you hope they have an impact in a positive way. Sam, what do you do with um, an experienced player like Ashley Williams when he gets sent off in that way? You said you can't defend him. You know, do you... No, there's a, there's just... There's just there's the old f fine system in place for everybody in the in the in the country. It's across the board, uh, which is okayed by the Premier League, the Football League, the FA, and the PFA. So it's straightforward, written down for everybody to follow. So there is no no need other than go through the system that's in place for everybody. But a silly thing to do, especially with such an experienced player. Thank you, lads. Okay.